Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's who the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Merciless. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Just missed with the left there. Lee gets caught by the elbow there. Oh, nice. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the counter. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. 
Straight right hand, no good. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Good jab. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Kick right under that right elbow. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Massive head kick. Leg kick. Over and over, he landed on a big body kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Just misses there with the left. 10 seconds to go in the round. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Nice leg kick lands. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice counter left hook to the head. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. There it is. Take a shot now. Take a shot. There it is. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, big punch man. And both fighters exchange in the pocket.
came of inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 30 seconds to go in round two. Just missing on the high kick there. Nice counter left hook. Ten minutes in the books. Well, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Not there. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Oh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Slip there. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. And he landed the right hand there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. in the can were headed to the championship rounds. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Let's get this together now. Visibly limping here. Oh, 
And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, blocks the shot. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. Lands the right hand. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step and getting them to slow down and fight at your pace. Nice loop and punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Checks the leg kick. Connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. has been there at times, not on that attempt. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Nice job to block the kick. What a punch. Nice head kick. Circling to his right. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Superman punch lands. Nice punch by Lee. Connects with a right. Back and forth we go. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Just misses with the jab there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Plus right hand is true. 
nice body kick right under the elbow. Ooh. Beautiful straight counter. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. And they separate. Beautiful body kick. There's the kick, it's blocked. Big head kick lands. That's a good strike right there. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy, he's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he out. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. That punch, no good. And that left foot landed on the button. Head kick lands. The final horn sounds. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Marshall All right, nice Rose. job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you've got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did it.